Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon's Ballistics. I'm your host, Brandon Barker, and I guess the uh, co-host for today, of course he has to come, Oliver John. Yeah, he heard me introduce, so of course he had to jump up here, because he's a turd. So you'll be seeing him and possibly some other cats uh, coming in and out of the frame every now and then, as usual. And uh, we'll try to make it a shorter video, so it's going to get... Through the, induct, uh, through the first part. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to know about how my giveaways work, a lot of times a lot of things in Tack Pack are in my future giveaways. Uh, make sure to remember, you know, code word. Uh, code word is going to be Oliver. Uh, if you don't know how the code words work, just go back to any of my, you know, previous videos that talk, you know, like two or three weeks ago and I go more in depth with it. Or just look at any of my live streams. And uh, my live streams are usually about, I say usually, because you know, occasionally it's just a you know a hangout live stream, but whenever it, whenever there's a live stream, talk about a giveaway. Just uh, watch that video and you'll see exactly how the code words work. You have to like, comment, share, subscribe on every video that's uh, you know released that month to be eligible for the uh, eligible for the giveaway. Uh, plus, do six code words. You should be ten now. It's six because I uh, I know instead of uploading seven days a week, I now upload three. Now uh, you. Also have an option for an additional raffle, not a giveaway, a raffle, and that is because I have a membership uh, program now. So if you you can become you can become a member on YouTube, uh, it used to be called Utreon, but now it's called Player. Um, I think those are the two uh, the two different platforms you can member on. Both of them have the same exact perks. So uh, you can do that either by subscribing on either one of those platforms, uh, you know, Facebook Pay. Uh, PayPal, cash in hand, whatever. Uh, the highest level, the twenty five dollars a month, you automatically get entered into my regular giveaway and the additional raffle for members only. At the mid tier, uh, you're not automatically entered, but you are eligible for the additional raffle. You just got to do the like, comment, share, subscribe, and do uh, a. I can't remember how many code words I said originally. Uh, I believe it's six for the original and four for the, uh, no, five. Six for the original and five for the uh, members only. Uh, if you're elite member, uh, if you're higher than that, then you're automatically entered. Anyway, that's two minutes down. Let's go ahead and get into opening up this month's Tack Pack. Now, Tack Pack has a couple of different options. You can do uh, Tack Pack Light, so it's an even smaller version of Tack Pack. And it's supposed to be without. I never got that pack light. I really can't say if it's any good or not. But you know, it's even less items. But of course, it's less money. Uh, there's regular tack pack, uh, which you get. I'll show you what you would get if uh, you was to get tack pack light. And then there's tack pack plus, which is what I always get. Uh, if you want to get tack pack, you're usually better off to be able to get the uh, the higher one. Ooh, another uh, another power tack. Interesting. Actually, I need to quit looking. What have we got here? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if you would have five items in the original in the regular one, and then. Uh, and the plus box for this one, you'd have two additional ones. The plus boxes, uh, the two the items in the plus part of it are always more expensive. For example, uh, one item is worth uh, $100 and the other item is worth $40. So, I'm not really going to be too excited about the plus items, honestly. Because, uh, you know, I kind of already have, I guess I can kind of show you exactly, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to it, because that is the, uh, the people that, that don't have this already will be very excited. But cause this is the charging hand everybody wants. Anyway, uh, the first thing first, the power attack. So this is the Sabre, Sabre uh, power attack. Uh, it's a powerful EDC flashlight fitted with a CREE XP G2 LED flashlight and delivers 239 lumens at max output. It is powered with the use of either one AAA or two, wait, either one AAA or two AAA batteries. What? It is powered with either one AAA or two AAA. 
It's gonna be one or two. Interesting. I mean, there's two different types of this. Uh, oh, that's cool. I didn't know it could do this until just now. So you can change its size. Uh, as a crenellated bezel for those emergency situations, making the first day virtual tool for everyday use. So this now just became a way more interesting flashlight. So you have your regular size, I guess. Uh, probably gotta take it apart, take that little you know, thing off the battery. Oh, I gotta put a battery in it. And apparently it does not come with batteries. So, uh, hang on a second. Well, I apparently only have one battery. So, uh, you know, I guess we'll have to test it with just the one battery. So, you can take that part off here to shorten the light to where you can only have to put one battery in. So now it could be a more tiny flashlight. That's kind of cool. And while that is actually pretty bright, uh, to give you an idea, uh, it can white out a piece of paper. So, if it can't even white out a piece of paper, then it's not a bright flashlight. But yeah, I like that. So you can either have a mini, or if you have a an additional uh, battery, if you have two batteries. Yes, it is waterproof. I see the uh, O-rings there. You can then make this a more standard size flashlight. I don't have the second battery to be able to show you, but yeah, you can make it more standard size. I like that a lot. So, uh, once again, PowerTac. They just make good stuff. I, 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 I like PowerTac's regular one. So, at, with one LED, you have uh, 168 lumens for 0.6 hours on, on high. You have 50 lumens on low, and then 168 uh, lumens on strobe. I'm sorry, I didn't say hours. So on strobe, you got uh, 1.2 hours at 168 lumens. On low, uh, 1.7 hours on, with 50 lumens. And on high, 0.6 at 168 lumens. That's with one battery. Or with two batteries, you have 239 lumens at uh, almost a whole hour, so 0.8 hours. Uh, 77 lumens on low for 2.2 hours. And then uh, 239 lumens strobe for 1.6 hours. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. I do wish it came with batteries, to be quite honest. But, you know, I, I, do, I, I, I like that a lot. So, that's I definite like it. I should have put the camera down i kind of forgot i was going to do that next time when i do unboxings put the camera down so you're not looking at me you're looking at the items but oh well uh next time uh song cash card oh okay i thought it was gonna be something else so it's a, okay i i was going to i don't like those little tiny cash cards but uh you know i guess it's the least it could be a, desita a designated knife i'll let you look at it before i open her up uh simple light and compact the sog cash card is a minimalist knife's dream it bodes a durable blade and a slim profile that easily conceals in any pocket clip it to the inside of your pocket or use it as a money clip or clip card uh or i'm sorry card clip and ensures you have everything that you need to survive in a modern world it, a well-designed handles uh while thin or comfortable to hold and use skeletonized structure keeps uh, weight and bulk to a minimum, even with its solid, I'm sorry, solid liner lock mechanism and 2.75 inch blade. I won't open this. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna leave this one in for a giveaway because some states, especially if I ship out of country, if I open this, I can't ship it to them. So uh, this is gonna be a giveaway item. I know a lot of people like SOG and whatnot. Just uh, I don't ever see me using this. So yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know, some people may be more into using that. You know, you can use that as a cash clip. But I mean, technically, I can clip cash to this too. So any knife can be a cash clip. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, this is gonna be a meh for me. Uh, maybe other people, maybe otherwise, just for me, it's me. So next item. 
we get another one of these bulldog tumblers. We already got one. Maybe it was on a Christmas box. Uh, but yeah, this is now the second one. I can't remember if I gave away the first one or not. If I gave away the first one, I'll keep this one. Because I do actually like you know these tumblers. I don't really need two. I can't remember if I gave it away or not. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these in, pre in previous giveaways. I'm going to keep this one. Uh, not really you know, overly excited. It'd be better to get with a straw. But I do actually like tumblers. All right. So next, we have a... Uh, oh, well, I didn't read this. Did I? Uh, the Range Ready Bulldog Tumbler. A twist on the old design to our surprise and delight. We have been getting bond with email requests and comments uh, from all of you asking to do another run of these. Asking you what will be received or whatever. Uh, I mean, I don't know why they'd be bond with requests request for this item with all their other cooler items like uh the like the last power deck flashlight that my favorite flashlight uh i'd love it definitely came up more of those but yeah yeah teaches on i guess uh this is a man i'm keeping it but it's a man um the nelson mfg fde mag release button usa made hmm so that's what this is here, and yes, it's going to go on my ARs. I think I like that. Uh, we are we really dig this detailed USMA piece. An aluminum mag release button features a unique FDE collaring and grips. The finger nicely assists uh, and grips the finger nicely to assist in your tactical situation. Simple and effective. FDE it says. Am I the only one not seeing FDE here? Yeah, I, I, maybe I am fully color blind. This, this, I mean, I, I guess maybe in the right light. Maybe once I want to put it on the gun, it'll be different. This looks. Uh, at first, I thought it was stainless steel. Now I'm seeing a little bit of color to it, but not stainless steel. But I guess stain, you know, stainless steel looking. It's supposed to be aluminum. But, I don't know, I, I, I'll put it on there and uh, I'll water my guns and see how I like it. Especially if these are, you know, bigger or something. I don't know. Uh, so next, uh, two items that I really don't have a use for. So, this is one of the items. Uh, oh, yeah, so before I get to this, all that was just in your regular box. So, uh, if I would have only got the regular box, uh, this is the only thing I would have really cared for. So, well, that and this. So, two. So, uh, this is going to go in, you know, cool. This is awesome. This is, you know, cool. And then the other two work me. Um, this one w would be a awesome, but I'll show you why it's not for me and some of my close friends. So, this is the charging handle that a lot of people has been really wanting. You know, they are, uh, as TechPack says, $100, you know, $99. So when it comes to a charging handle, does anyone else compare to the Radon? Heck no, the Raptor, the evolution design and function from uh, rapid palm blading or uh, finger thumb charges of this weapon. The motion is fluid and fast from either strong or support side, made in USA uh, from aircraft grade 70, uh, 7075 aluminum and mil spec anodized. So uh, this is the one that everybody really, really likes. But, I mean, to show you something that's in my giveaway. Uh, now, this one is in my giveaway for uh, the members only, the member, members only raffle. But, much of a difference between these? I really can't. Well... I guess now that I'm being quite honest, a little, I, I can definitely see the grips on this one is better. S the spring is uh, a little tighter. Yeah, a lot, when I say a little tight, a lot tighter. So, you know, this may actually give me uh, a better way to be able to test uh, these. You know, uh, I've, I've had... You know, the, these cheaper ones on my rifles uh, for now, what, three weeks, maybe more? And I've been highly impressed by them. 
work great. But I guess now that I have something to directly compare it to, we'll see exactly how these things compare to the more expensive ones. So these things online are going for 40, except I've been able to find a local place to get it even cheaper. Uh, but you know, the ones are imitating are the hundred dollar ones. So, well, 40 to, uh, don't, you can, you can find these online for, you know, between 80 and 90, but you know, these better ones, but you can find these online for 40, you know, 40 to 30, unless you know exactly where to look, uh, then you can find it even cheaper. So yeah, definitely interested to see how that works out. And, oh, and a couple of people, um, uh, I will probably find a way, I'm pretty sure I have one more of these I can include, uh, you know, on my pop giveaway, uh, for the free giveaway for everybody, but, yeah, it's Ollie, he got mad, but yeah, I'm, now that I compared them side by side, I am actually more excited about this, this, uh, this is of a nicer feel, so this is gonna go on my guns for sure, so, I, I, I at first I was let down, but now that I can see that this, you know, for double the price, you, you know, you, like the old saying says, you get what you pay for. I can tell a, an immediate difference. Uh, not really with the actual charging hill itself. Uh, they're the same weight. So they're made, seemingly made out of the same material. Uh, I, like I said, I tried to break those and they, you know, it's definitely metal. So uh, I can definitely tell a stronger spring and I can definitely tell, you know, a lot, you know, something more for your fingers to grab onto. Less likely to slide off. Not that I've had that problem, but yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of glad that I found out I like this a little bit more. Cause it, it would suck to not have use for either one of the plus items. And that is because the other plus items is, uh, and this is something I don't quite understand. Oh, it's a 45 degree. Well, I mean, you still with the 45. I love the 45. All right, so the next, uh, the, you know, the final... You know, plus item, there is a sticker in there. I'll show you the sticker in a second. We have an R-Spec 45 degree ambidextrous safety selector for $40. The ST45 is the ambidextrous 45 degree safety selector for the AR10, AR15 platform. Instead of having a full 90 degree rotation to disengage the safety, this selector is set to fire at 45 degree point. This allows the operator to flick the lever to disengage the safety. The safety selector is incredibly smooth and has a superior crisp lockup and is designed for firearms that have the correct fire markings for the receiver to a master 45 degree position on, a, on the safety selector. Do not use on lowers without the 45 degree fire markings on the receiver. If you have a receiver that, is, that does not have the correct markings, you should use the FT90 selector instead. Uh, patent pending. So, yeah, let me go ahead and I, I guess I do kind of like how that flicks out. So once again, I was gonna make fun of it, but I kind of like. It. Then well, then again, all my almost all my firearms have binary triggers, which means I can't use this at all. Uh, I can't remember what safety selector I have on my AR-10. I will have to check and see with it. That this might be going on it, or this might end up being a giveaway item because I don't I don't have. Because uh, I'm pretty sure all my ARs, with the exception of my AR-10s, I think they're all, I'll have binary triggers in them. So, uh, for those who don't know, uh, these are special safety selector because you gotta be able to put them on binary. So, you know, I don't know if I can use it. Uh, so this may or may not be in a giveaway. Uh, I do like that feeling though. So once again, that's uh, gonna go and like it. Next we got the sticker, kind of skipped over it. And that is, a Take two, and that is the Taco Man. So, the Tactical Taco sticker, a bit of Seco de Mayo swagger. So, yeah, the, ta the Tactical Taco. I like it. All righty, so June hints. The standard box value is $108. Uh, you get it from Gerber, a mint, so probably a knife from Gerber. A mint, too, is probably going to be a magazine. Uh, AP is going to be a part. Allen uh, probably is going to be... Uh, a, a tool. Uh, Still City, probably something for an AR. Uh, plus more. I think Still City. Yes. Uh, then the, the plus box is $225. Trigger warning. Brand new parts. Specifically designed and collaborated from Still City Arsenal. Uh, USA made. First in the market with uh, Tech, plus, Tech Pack Plus subscribers. So, 
that's awesome and everything from Steel City, so it's gonna be an AR part. It says trigger warning, brand new part. So I'm hoping that means something for the triggers. Yeah, maybe a uh, awesome new trigger. Uh, I mean, uh, probably wishing too much there, but be awesome. I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome if Tech Pack actually came out with a freaking awesome trigger. Uh, well, still City Arsenal, but it'd be cool if it was in a Tech Pack box. Uh, I would hope, hope beyond hope that it would be a binary trigger, but then, yeah, then that ain't gonna happen. But yeah. You can always hope. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so much for a short video. So, yeah. Uh, I guess go and close her out because I'm already way past what it should be. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you uh, like the Tac Pack stuff. Like I said, I always go with Tac Pack Plus. You usually get your values more out of the Tac Pack Plus than you do out of your reg regular Tac Pack. Uh, next month sounds pretty cool. So, you know, to see what it is. All right. And then I think, is it next? Pretty sure next month we also get the Glock Box. Which I've already paid for that, so uh, I'm also eager to see what's in that. So, oh, I think it's next month. It could be July. I don't remember exactly, but it could be July. But I'm hoping it's June. I'm pretty sure it's June. We get to see what's in that clock box. And I got the plus. So I'm looking forward to that as well. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Once again, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time. Peace.